peace be to you. Yahoo Aw God Almighty protects me during a tragic road accident on July 19, 2019 for his divine purpose, to continue to warn the Muslims community, that Islam is a false religion, which began by an Arab called Muhammad in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. If I were lying to the Muslims community about Kaaba idolatry, the Mubrahila challenge, that is invoking God Almighty to allow oneself, to be cursed with misfortune and even death if one is a liar, should have worked to inflict bodily injury during the road traffic accident. But not a single scratch has inflicted on my body. The damaged car can be repaired, but fatality cannot be restored back to life. When the Jews in Medina mocked Muhammad for imitating their direction of prayers towards Jerusalem Temple around 622 AD, he was upset and decided to revert to the black cube which pleases himself according to the Quran itself in Al-Baqarah 2 verse 144 to 145. The Quran does not say the Qibla that Muhammad used is the same direction of prayers used by Ibrahim also known as Abraham and Ismail also known as Yishmael. Even the name of Yishmael ends with the Al an abbreviation of Elohim not Al from Allah. Israel also ends with the Al for Elohim. So the idolatry of Kaaba cube worship continues endlessly till Lord Jesus Christ exposes them on the Day of Judgment. I doubt any of the Muslims will enter the Kingdom of Christ because of Kaaba idolatry. I have classified this deception of Kaaba black cube idolatry as the greatest deception in the history of mankind, because over 1.6 billion of Muslims have been deceived into Kaaba idolatry, and yet they are boasting to be worshipping only one God that one God is Muhammad himself, that they are idolating him and believe blindly, that every word from his mouth is the word of Allah. Let's turn to the Quran on the passage, when Muhammad was fabricating the Quranic verses. I am using the term fabricating the Quranic verses, because he spoke those words, and imputing that it came forth from Allah. Yahoo all God Almighty has preserved his holy name so that Muhammad could not know him. Al-Baqarah chapter 2 verse 144 reads, We see the turning of thy face for guidance to the heavens, now shall we turn thee to a kibbutz that shall please thee. Turn then thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque, wherever ye are, turn your faces in the direction. The people of the book know well that that is the truth from their Lord. Nor is Allah unmindful of what they do. Chapter 2 verse 145 reads, even if thou wert to bring to the people of the book all the signs together, they would not follow thy Kibbalah, nor art thou going to follow their Kibbalah, nor indeed will they follow each other's Kibbalah. If thou after the knowledge has reached thee, wert to follow their vain desires, then wert thou indeed clearly in the wrong. Chapter 2 verse 146 reads, The people of the book know this as they know their own sons, but some of them conceal the truth which they themselves know. There are three points, which can be deduced from the aforesaid passage, firstly, the sacred mosque which Muslims believe is the Kaaba black cube located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, is actually a pagan shrine built for idolatry. But this claim of sacred mosque is ridiculous, because Muhammad had migrated to Medina in 622 AD, as he was rejected by the Meccans for exalting himself as a prophet of Allah, which no one in his bloodline was a prophet. If Yishmael the Hebrew was a prophet of Allah, then Muhammad must be called a Hebrew, as the race of the person always follow the paternal bloodline for the culture of the Hebrews and Arabs. Kaaba Shrine was then housing about 360 idols inside the building, and for Allah to call it a sacred mosque must be an invention of Muhammad himself. If the Kaaba black cube is indeed a mosque, then why the mosques around the world do not imitate the flat top of Kaaba but a dome is erected on top of the building instead. Secondly, Muhammad was contending with the Jews in Medina on the Kibbutz or prayer direction towards their God, which Lord Jesus Christ and Israeli Jew and all Jews in the world have never changed the direction of prayers, since the time of King Solomon the Hebrew, who built it as inspired by Yahoo all God Almighty. Thirdly, Muhammad knew that the people of the book basically the Hebrews and Christians know the truth, and only some of them conceal the truth. But the rest of the Jews in Medina were openly praying towards Jerusalem city, where the Temple of Solomon once stood on the holy ground. The phrase in the Quran, Now we shall turn thee to a kibbutz which shall please thee, 
is a fabrication of Muhammad himself as nowhere in the Holy Bible, Yahuwah ah God Almighty has spoken in such a manner so as, to please the Prophet himself. In this particular case, Muhammad was allowed by Allah to please himself with the cub idolatry just, because the Jews mocked him for imitating their Qibla towards Jerusalem city. If the Qibla of the Jews was the wrong direction of prayers, why Allah was quiet until Muhammad was mocked by the Jews for imitating their way of worship? In fact, the Holy Bible is the complete book, which mentions all cities and places, that Abraham and Yishmael had traveled during their lifetime. Mecca city was never mentioned in the Holy Bible, because it was a recent city founded by the Arabs migrated from Yemen as a trading town. This message of love to help Muslims, to see that they are involved in Kaaba idolatry must be shared in the spirit of love and boldness, as offense is sure but the love of truth should supersede that fear. Shalom.